Hello, welcome on the training video about standard and custom fields where I'm going to go over all of the options you have in regards to adding data to an asset manually or just you know, enriching an asset's data or adding additional data that you might need for an asset itself. So without further delay, let's head into Landsweeper and take a look at the custom fields. So here in Landsweeper, I'm going to first head over to an asset. Doesn't really matter what type of asset, um, although I'm going to go for just a Windows asset here. And I do think I have a couple of examples already, but just head over to this one. And then to see the default and the custom fields itself, it's easiest to go into the edit asset immediately. There we can see kind of all of the default fields. So obviously default fields, um, you've got your main information that you can all change if you want to, but we have some additional fields that we've added, like some financial information. These are more like fields that we've noticed that people more frequently use or used to create with custom fields. Um, we've now added some of those as kind of default or standard fields that you can use if you want to. Um, so this is for POs, um, invoices, things like that. Um, and then aside from that, we obviously have some fields about location, maintenance, um, you know, relations are there, have always been there. Um, but when going into the custom fields, you can create or add as many custom fields as you want um, and configure them however you need. Now, one important thing to note is if you do have custom fields in your Landsweeper Classic installation, those will not carry over to the cloud version. Um, so there is no sync of custom fields. That's important to know. But once you are using, or if you started in cloud, or if you're using cloud, you can create the benefit is that you can create as many custom fields as you need. Um, so you can see here, I already have two examples. I have one for documentation, which is just a URL or I have something where you can um, assign that we've seen as well in the past. We've seen customers use custom fields, for example, when they are assigning devices to specific people, when there's some kind of like borrowing system or lending system, um, they can, they are able to put in dates and see, okay, when was this device last borrowed or um, taken out, things like that. So there's also one here that I added with a date. You can fill in, there we go. Um, now let's head into the manage to take a look at how do you create these. Um, so it's quite straightforward. So obviously you need to edit an asset, go to the custom fields, then hit the add additional one. And here we can add a new custom field where we can give it a name. Um, for example, uh, something like, uh, I'm just gonna name it, name it test for the time being. Um, and then you get an option of what kind of field type do you want? Do you just want it to be a text field, a text area for larger texts? Um, it can be a drop down, date picker, time picker, currency, or hyperlink. Um, any of these, basically, you can pick and uh, add to your custom fields. You can also add kind of a, um, a placeholder in those fields. Um, this is more for kind of instructions that will let your users that you have in Landsweeper know what they should be adding in here um, so that they, when they do populate those custom fields, they actually know what they need to add in there uh, data-wise. Um, now, for those kind of things, um, it's obviously interesting to add this information or be able to do this for plenty of scenarios. As I mentioned, or as you can see, documentation is one of them, but also any other type of use case that you might think of that you can, where it might benefit of you having specific data that is not in, that maybe not scanned or that you get manually or from other people that needs to be in there, um, you can add it to it. And you can also use that in other areas of Landsweeper as well to manage your assets better. And with that, we've gone over everything of custom fields. So you can learn more in the next video.